like any parent whose child is starting at school, I was very excited about getting a uniform for my daughter. So when I found out I could actually order it online on the Tesco website, that was really um, wonderful for me. And I dressed her up on the first day, took pictures with her little uniform with the little St. Giles logo. And I felt like any other parent, you know, first day photos and being part of the wider community, we just felt like other everyday regular parents. And that was such a, such a great feeling. So get the uniform, it's really worth having. I was really excited when Ruby was due to start school because she was really ready to start school. Um, she was excited, she was happy. It takes a lot to entertain her, so I, she was just ready for school. Um, my one fear about her starting school was the school bus, going on the bus to school. She cried for the first week, but now she's excited. As soon as she's dressed, she's excited and she's outside waiting for her bus. Um, some of the fears that I had is um, because of her preschool she didn't go much into school because of her health needs and everything we, she was ill um, but one of the issues that we had is that she got to a point that she hated passing by the school that was preschool so when she started at St Giles I was afraid that she would do the same or similar but um, luckily she really loved it straight away she went in she felt comfortable um my hopes at that time was it's completely different to now because i wasn't expecting her progress to go so fast so quick um that time i had hopes that um she'd be able to walk she'll be eating by her mouth she can co communicate even if it's sign language i don't mind anything just show me anything <laughs> um and that was my hopes and my fears was just, you know, her settling into school. I wasn't sure how she was going to react because of the preschool and what she had. Um, yeah. Jack Day started, we weren't confident at all. In fact, we were a nervous wreck, Sally and I. Uh, Jack never left our side from when he was born. Uh, he could do nothing for himself, could not feed himself, could not walk, talk. So he was reliant on us totally for his ability to do anything. So JJ came to St Giles. I can still remember the first day. We stayed with him for the afternoon and it was lovely. All the time we got here, from the time we spent coming through the door to the time we left, JJ was just fits of laughter and loved every minute of it. We felt reassured. Uh, we felt there was sympathy, understanding, and fairness from the staff. But mum and dad's need a break too and help just as much as the children do. And the staff here understand that, which is wonderful. From the minute he's picked up in the morning by the bus, Lynn and Roy, fantastic. JJ is so excited, something he never used to do. Uh, he's brought him completely out of himself, out of his shell. And now we feel as though he's safe. Um, we can leave him here and not worry, go shopping and be normal parents for a while if normal's the right. So when Ruby got her place at St Giles, we was really excited. And then she had an own visit with her class teacher. So she got to know her teacher before starting school, which was really good because she didn't come into class with a stranger. So that is really good. Um, everything, um, especially the fact that all your professionals are in one place. Um, the fact that I don't have to worry about taking her out of school for appointments. Um, I know sometimes she still does have appointments outside, but you have doctors here, nurses, um, therapies, physiotherapy or speech and language therapy. You've got everyone in here. And um, especially that everyone is welcoming as well. So you don't have to worry about your child being the outsider. Everyone makes, um, makes your child feel like they're special. They're just amazing. It's amazing work you've done in here. And JAS carries out a range of therapies which the OT and physio departments, for example, work very closely with, this, with the classroom staff. Um, any equipment and therapies my daughter needs is transferred straight from them into the classroom. For example, she wears hand splints, she gets feet splints fitted very regularly, she's got a little lycra suit and she goes into a stander a couple of times a week. This is such a relief for parents because before you have to spend all your time traveling and taking your daughter from the school or from your home to all these various therapy appointments. So this joined up working is really 
useful and it's appropriate I think for the setting because everybody then is on the same page with what's being done. I would like to talk about appointment. Every time we have appointment, uh, we always it's very hand, helpful because when we drop uh, Kayla off the school, we all ha when we have appointment, we also can come to visit or meeting or have the appointment in here in Sunjai. So we no need to go like a low over the place or. Uh, like uh, running around, chasing for the time to go to another Taking area. Taking Kayla out of school. Yeah, and no yeah. need to take our daughter out of the school for a certain appointment. And unfortunately, I think it's very, very helpful for us and very good support from uh, Sunshine. Before first class, uh, JJ gets a book and he runs out and every day teachers comments parents comments to and from school so that's our way of talking to the school every day and we also have a blue book which is quite big that comes home with all the photos in it uh, showing JJ progress day in day out certain occasions special moments which is beautiful to see it was totally unexpected and actually a wonderful gift that we shall treasure for a long time to come so St Giles do great workshops um, parents groups, assemblies for the early years and the Christmas play is just fantastic which Ruby loved. So there's lots to get involved with. St Giles really provides such a great opportunity to also meet and socialise with other parents because you can get very isolated when you have a child with special needs. There's uh, co chat and wrap, coffee mornings, parents groups, you know we have um, mom pamper evenings which we love coming to so there's really a lot going on many different workshops and as a parent at St Giles I feel that the staff also realizes it's not just about the child it's also about the parents needs and being able to meet and befriend other parents in a similar situation so again we're so grateful and so happy that um, our child is here plus all the facilities that we were shown around the school wasn't it it was very good S yeah. Swimming facilities, very nice, warm, heated pool. Kayla loves swimming. Everything about the the place just was all suited for Kayla, wasn't it? Yes, and yeah. about staff in the class, because we we came in the first day, they was put her in the front of the toy, and you can see all of the staff they are excited. To have her and you can see everyone put interesting for for her and all of the children we feel like oh that's it she's gonna be happy um she loves her swimming her dancing singing and reading books and in in school in st giles they actually um, emphasize that so if she loves her swimming they will actually try and help her and to learn it and um, whatever she likes, basically, they just try to support her even more. JJ likes many things now. Most of all, JJ teaches us what he likes at home as regards to school. And one of the favourite things JJ likes is the magic carpet, where he can point at different products on the carpet, birds and so on. Um, and then, just in his facial features, you can see what he enjoys. We're looking forward to JJ using the eye scanning software where he can actually look with his eyes to point to different things on the screen. Uh, that's results we're looking forward to because JJ talks with his eyes. And the school understands that because of JJ's abilities. JJ requires certain communication skills that not every other school can provide, but here at St Giles they do. It's absolutely wonderful to see the way he's come forward with his communication skills and every day is a, is a, a new result. Ruby loves school. She loves swimming, music and PE. I had to even buy her a guitar because she just loves music. Um, she loves the sensory rooms. She comes home and she's excited and tells me what, what room she's been in and what she's done that day. I say to new parents to relax. As daunting as it may be and as afraid and as panicky as you may feel, honestly, your child is in really good hands at St Giles. There's a nursing team on site so if there are any medical issues, they'll be on board. They'll give you a ring. You can come down and check on your child anytime. You can call into the class and find out if your child is okay. But all in all, your child is in such good hands. I've had such a sense of relief since my daughter's been here. And I think as a new parent, 
that's what you need. You need to feel relaxed. You need to feel calm. It's not. It's easier said than done, but at St. Giles, it will happen. St. Giles also has a lovely family support worker who helps to relieve the pressure of parents. Um, normally, you're running to all the appointments and liaising with all these multidisciplinary uh, professionals. Family support worker at St. Giles actually helps you to set up a what they call a tech meeting team around the child and all the different professionals from social care, from nursing, from you know your GP and your community come together at the school and your family support worker is like a bridge between you and them and this helps you to achieve what you need for your child as well as having somebody in your corner and I think as, as parents in this particular situation that you find yourselves in you really cannot, you can't beat it, it's wonderful and we really appreciate it. Well here at St Giles we know that JJ can stay on and stay here. The worry about JJ having to go to another school was frightening terrible but that doesn't happen here the continuity of love protection and kindness carries on from junior school right up to secondary school right up until they're 16 and if ability is needed it's here everything we need is here so there's not the worry of having to find another school jj is safe and well where he is and that's a big worry off our mind